Hello, my name is Mr Ogilvy and I'm one of the teachers of English at Gosford Hill School. Um, as a department for A-Level, we have three teachers with a combined experience of 20 years at all key stages and 10 years of A-Level teaching experience. We collaborate and share resources together and we um, have three units that we cover throughout the two years of A-Level, starting in year 12 and finishing in year 13. Um, those three units consist of non-examined assessment, aspects of tragedy and elements of crime writing. For NEA, as it's known, this covers 20% of the overall marks for the whole exam. Um, it is a coursework element and it covers both fiction and poetry. Students are required to write an essay of between 1,000 and 1,500 words on a single novel and another essay on a long poem or a collection of poems. These are all of their own choosing, but they can be advised on which novels to read and write about by their individual teachers. The interesting aspect of this is that those novels and poems are viewed through different lenses linked to literary theory, which can include, for example, Marxism and feminism. For the two main units, which are taught throughout the two years, we start with aspects of tragedy. This accounts for 40% of the overall marks. And there are three texts that we study, which I'll just show you briefly now. There's one Shakespeare play, King Lear. We study a modern play from the 20th century, Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller, an American playwright. And the final text we cover is Thomas Hardy's Tess of the D'Urbervilles, a 19th century canonical novel. So the requirements for the exam are that it lasts for two hours, 30 minutes, so substantially longer than students would be doing at GCSE. Um, there is an unseen response which relates to an extract from King Lear, then an essay response linked to the same text. After that, you have a choice from two questions on the two remaining texts, Arthur Miller and Thomas Hardy, and you are required to draw connections between those texts. Each question attracts 25 marks, a total of 75 marks for that exam. The other unit is elements of crime writing, which also covers 40% of the overall marks. There are three texts to study and also an unseen prose element. The three texts are as follows. When Will There Be Good News by Kate Atkinson, a novel written in the early part of the 21st century. Agatha Christie's The Murder of Roger Ackroyd from the Golden Age of Crime Fiction in the 1920s and 30s. And although you can't see it within this booklet, there is the poem The Rhyming Age of Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, written in the 19th, early 19th century. For this unit, there is a three hour exam, and it is an open book exam, meaning that students are allowed to have unmarked copies of the text with them when they do the exam. This comprises a response to an unseen prose fiction text about which students are separately taught. Then they have a choice of an essay on one of the other three texts, followed by a response drawing connections between the other two texts they haven't answered about in the first question. So, what are the expectations and assessment requirements? If you wish to study English Literature A-Level, you need to achieve a Grade 5 in both Language and Literature at GCSE, as a minimum. As a student of English Literature, you need to be an avid, committed reader, be prepared to read extensively, widely, and work independently with minimal guidance. So it's very different to GCSE. 
Class periods are primarily discussion based and will often require pre reading and study, and they are exploratory in scope. There is overall a more conceptual approach to studying texts, and study will involve regular extended writing and planning for the same. You will have mock exams in year 12 and 13 with regular detailed feedback from your teachers. As regards our recent results in A-level, in 2019 we had eight entries and the average grade was a C with one A star, five at grades A star to C and eight at grades A star to E. Last year in 2020 there were 10 entries. These were centre assessed grades um, but they were very carefully put together and the grades were two A stars, two at A, two B, two C and two D grades. In the current year 12 and 13 cohorts there are eight students in each class. So one of the advantages of being at Gosford Hill and, to, and learning English Literature at A-level is that you will have smaller class sizes. Students often ask, as do parents, what other subjects are commonly studied or combined at A-level with literature and we have found that students tend to cover subjects such as sociology, history, psychology, maths, science, drama, French and geography. So it's a very broad spread. Students also often want to know where this subject can take you at university and beyond. While the types of degrees that people tend to go on and study include history, law, sociology, theatre studies, medicine, drama, creative writing and psychology. So hopefully you can see the link between the A-level and higher study. What types of careers? Well, that could include journalism, teaching, education as a whole, linguistics, history, writing, editing, publishing, or any type of career in communications. Finally, I'd just like to outline why it is an important and worthwhile discipline to study. Firstly, it enhances your writing and communication skills, your ability to form a coherent and cogent argument, it allows you to read into the subtext of literature and different complex situations. You can develop critical thinking, analytical skills and creative expertise, all of which were started off during Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. It provides for independent working, time management and organisation, planning and researching written work, articulating knowledge and understanding of texts, concepts and theories, leading and participating in discussions, negotiation and team working to present ideas and information. And that is one of the things you will do quite a lot as an A-level student. You'll work in small groups, you'll produce things together, which you will show to each other in class and to your teachers. Thank you for listening. If you have any more queries or concerns, I will be available on the evening to answer those.